give me a couple of minutes and, and let me ask three questions. Right now, we are being told that asking for an investigation on Joe Biden was targeting of a political opponent, and it is impeachable. Okay. All right. I, l- let's say I give you that. All right. Asking for an investigation on someone who is your uh, foe in an upcoming election is impeachable. Why? Because just the, the, the hint of scandal hurts them, right? Just the hint of scandal hurts them. But don't you have a responsibility to make sure that information gets out if there is actual corruption? Let me ask the question this way. Asking for an investigation on Biden was targeting a political opponent, and it is impeachable. But doing an investigation based on the Steele dossier is not impeachable. Launching this investigation, this impeachment, based on a partisan whistleblower is somehow heroic and and the job of Congress, yet calling for an investigation on the corruption of a Democratic vice president is impeachable. I, I, I can't give you both. I can't. I give you one. Looking into your opponent is either impeachable or it is not. I can't say it is sometimes and not the other. You can't tell me, well, that was just a political campaign. Well, that's what the Steele dossier was. So that was a political campaign. You can't say, well, he's in the administration. Well, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, we have evidence that they were working to discredit Donald Trump and his campaign the same way that people are accusing uh, Donald Trump using his administrative power to discredit Joe Biden. This is question number one. Why are, why are they different? Can you explain how they're different? Question number two. Holding back aid and then later releasing it to Ukraine, all of the money, and doing that only after that same administration had already delivered military support in a Javelin missile system is somehow not only impeachable, but it shows support for Russia and U.S. weakness towards Ukraine. That's what they're saying now. Donald Trump held this back, which was a clear sign to Russia. Even though the Ukrainians didn't know we were holding it back, somehow the Russians did, and it was a sign that the United States was weak on Ukraine and wasn't really going to support them. Even though they had already given a missile system, the second missile system was held back for a couple of months. However, at the same time, holding back all the military aid during an actual conflict with Ukraine, the United States held back military support when Ukraine was actually in the military conflict with Russia. That administration that was outwardly working towards a reset with Russia, and who had said during the 2012 election, Mr. Romney, the 1980s called, and they want their foreign policy back. That was not sending a signal of weakness on U.S. support for Ukraine? You can't have both. You have to pick one or the other. by Ukraine doing an investigation into corruption of U.S. officials. By asking Ukraine 
to do an investigation into corruption of U.S. officials, investigating what happened to our $7 billion investment, as well as looking into election tampering, where two Ukrainian officials, including the head of the anti-corruption bureau that was set up by the American and Ukrainian administration in a partnership, the head one of the guys that was convicted was the head of that bureau found guilty in a Ukrainian court of law for tampering with the U.S. elections to throw it toward Hillary. By asking to investigate that would destroy the bipartisan support for Ukraine? So does that mean that the Democrats all know that Ukraine is corrupt and in their corner, and so they will no longer support it to be free? Because the Democrats doing an investigation on Trump's asking for this investigation, they say, will not polarize Ukraine in Congress? Because... I don't understand. How come one is an affront and the other is not? One is bipartisan and one is not. One is impeachable and one is not. This impeachment doesn't help Russia? I'm only looking for consistency, and I would love to hear somebody that can answer those questions. How is it impeachable to look into somebody's corrupt history if one side does it and it's, it's heroic if the other side does it? And they're both in power and they're both running against each other. How's that work? It's all flavored by the same thing, which is they are going into this with the assumption that Donald Trump is guilty of everything they're accusing him of. He's this really bad person who's doing these really bad things, so therefore... Obviously, if, if he's doing these things for these bad reasons, he should be punished. And it's okay. It's a just investigation because he's a bad guy doing bad things. But However, the, Biden isn't. He's a good guy doing good things. But and if you go into it with that prism, of course you see it this way. But then you have to, then you have to accept that the people who are holding the hearings themselves do not believe that all investigations are just. And they can't... I, like, this is such a weird line they're trying to draw with the Biden part of this. Anyone, like, they're trying to convict Donald Trump of in wanting to investigate his political opponents. But they are investigating their, their political, political opponents. opponents. So what, what, they're, what they're saying here, and I just want to make this clear, what they're saying here is all investigations are not equal and mm -hmm. all investigations done by our government are not just. If that investigation went on, it would not be just. And that's what they did. With the, they did the same thing with Benghazi. Right? Exactly right. Mm -hmm. That exactly one doesn't right. count. It's not, that, those are good things, people doing good things. Correct. I just want people to connect with that mm -hmm. because what that means is there is no justice one size fits all. There is, there is one court that could be very, very just and one court that is very, very evil. We're not working on the same handbook. We're not working on the same set of rules. Mm -hmm. If it's conducted by these people, it's fine. If it's not conducted by those people, it's not fine which means you better be careful on whose camp and whose side you're on. Right, and this is such a huge point, and it's such a good one you bring up, because it, what they are proposing, essentially, is a system in which your political opponent has immunity for anything they do. You can't investigate them if you're a Republican. So any, But, but, but on the can. other side, you can do it with Democrats. It shows they have no moral consistency here at all, because the idea isn't, well... We, you went after uh, Biden after knowing there was nothing there. We Which all know there's big now. questions, right? We <laughs> right. all know there's big questions there, though. And Even you might the not New York agree. Times says that. They've all done it. Yeah. Right? They've all, they, now, at this point, they've all written big reports on this, where the stuff was questioned. And, you know, what's interesting is why haven't they called uh, John Kerry's stepson? Yeah, it's a great one. John what? Kerry's stepson comes out and says to Hunter Biden— I'm not doing this, man. I'm not going with the, with the Ukrainian thing. This is crazy. 
This is really crazy. You're going to get nailed for this. This is not good. And he backs out and says, I'm, I just want to make it really clear. I'm not part of it. Well, you know that John Kerry heard that from his son. You know that he had to have mm-hmm. gone to John Kerry and said, hey, is this cool? I mean, really? Because this doesn't seem right to me. Which means that he either didn't talk to his father or, which I don't believe, or his father said, stay way away from this one, son. Stay way away. He's on record getting away from those two because he said to them, you're in a different league here. This is really bad. How come we're not hearing that? Because this isn't a hearing. This isn't a trial. This is an inquisition. 